Praise the Lord. I'm glad I could meet you all once again to this video. Today is the 21st of March and I'm hoping that uh, you could use this for your Sunday or your family devotion. Today's scripture is Psalm 1 and I'm going to read it from the New Standard Version, NIV, sorry. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does, he prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Let's pray. Oh dear God, our Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this time. I could meet believers and friends and family through this video. Do bless our devotion. It could be a blessing for many of us. We give you thanks. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, it is a joy joining you in this manner. As I read the Psalm 1, we will be spending a little time just going through some of the verses there. Malaysia is going through a social distancing uh, exercise under the government's movement restrictions operation. We continue to hear many news about the nature of this virus. We continue to receive news about the impact this virus is having in many countries with the number of WhatsApps and the Instagrams and other news media spread of anything and everything about this novel coronavirus, we simply cannot discern what is fake and what is genuine. I believe our duty is not to get anxious about anything. Remember the words of Apostle Paul who admonishes us not to be worried or anxious about anything but Instead, to bring all our petitions, that's our prayer requests, to God with all thanksgiving. The same, and in the same book, he mentions the wonderful emotions or attitude we often forget or overlook. He says, rejoice at all times in all things. Today, I want to share with you a special and a unique social distancing that this psalm recommends. There are, in my reading of this psalm, four specific social distancing we as believers are to observe always, even beyond the virus problem. The first, number one, verse one. A social distancing from the counsel of the wicked. The Bible describes the wicked as those who habitually go against all things concerning man and society. There are, these are people who do not care for the value of human relationships and not even societal, societally accepted behaviors and attitudes. Their work will always be to poison one's thought and attitudes towards everyone and everything. The Bible says to maintain a distance from them. Do not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Why? The very act of walking brings you into their influence. So the first social distancing that the Bible recommends is to not walk in the way of the wicked. Number two, in the same verse, the second part. A social distancing from sinners. 
Sinners are a category of people who are intent in doing sin, acts against the Holy God. If they do not have any fear of God or anything connected with the holiness of God, the Bible says we need to maintain a social distance from these sinners by not even standing in the way of sinners. This is simply because the way of the sinner will lead me towards their own penchant to sin. And that's the number two, social distancing. Number three is also in verse one, the last part. A social distancing from the mockers. Mockers are those who joke, who make fun of everybody and everything. For them, everything in the Bible is a big joke to be made fun of. Mocking is more than making a joke. Mocking means insulting by making dry jokes about something or someone who is of value. Notice that there is a place of fun, but there are sacredness in things of God. Persons, marriage, wife, husband, honesty, integrity. We cannot be mocking everything. It looks like you would know everything and all other targets are good for mocking. The Bible encourages us to exercise a holy social distancing by not even sitting in the seat of mockers. Notice the progression of natural human daily activity, walking, standing, and eventually sitting. This is a natural way of being sucked into an act that causes us to sin, to go away from God. These four series of social, these three series of social distancing the Bible exhorts are not limited by time or season. Rather, this is to be our natural lifestyle. There's one more social distancing that this psalm brings awareness of. It's in verse 2. I will read that. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. The Bible talks about all believers to socially distant themselves, to spend time meditating on the laws of the Lord. This act of distancing yourself from normal duty is to set us to go to the Word of God. Therefore, there are three kinds of social distancing from and one kind of social distancing to. Let's continue our studies. The Bible is not only interested in laying down rules and regulations, but gives us powerful motivation to obey these instructions. The operative word is blessed. Who is a blessed person? A person who keeps away from the wicked, the sinners and the mockers. They are blessed. Let's uh, understand the word blessed blessed people are those who receive the presence of God blessed are those who receive the favor of God blessed are those who delight in God's revealed will blessed are those whose life provides a forum for God to bring his fullness of life. If you notice this psalm, interestingly, it starts with the word blessed and ends with perish. Let's choose to be blessed. Why should we perish when we have our great friend with us? May we heed to this divine counsel of God and stay blessed. Let's bravely adopt this God's approved social distancing and allow for God to bless his people. Praise God in Jesus' name. Amen.